this is a how to what if video in other words if something isn't working right what could it be so right here we have my v control touch we are running hobbywing i've got the hobbywing app running we're running a hobbywing high voltage 130 amp esc and the v control neo we know the motor hooked up this is purely talking telemetry and what happens if maybe you don't have the right firmware loaded on the ESC? And what's it look like? Or you have the telemetry cable plugged in. What's that look like? So we're going to run through some scenarios. So right now everything's working. Let's verify everything's working. So yeah, so we click on our app. We can bring it up. We long press the app. We got our features so we can make changes. So there we go. Let's go see what we can mess up and what we can do wrong and what it looks like. We'll be back. And we're back. All right. So we've removed something. See if you can figure out what we removed. What is not here and not present? Besides, the Hobbywing app is no longer. The Hobbywing app icon is no longer in my touch screen. Oh, my gosh. What happened? Why do I not have access to the Hobbywing app anymore? <gasps> what could be missing? Tumbler cable. So, if the telemetry cable is not plugged in, or plugged in but plugged in wrong, maybe backwards, you will lose the Hobbing app. Now, Hobbing firmware will be present, Hobbing firmware here, everything's hooked up, working, or everything's properly firmware updated, but without that telemetry cable, you will not have telemetry. Now, if you're running like an internal gov, like a VBAR gov, and you have your RPM cable still hooked up, right to the RPM, your hobbying unit will still be controlled by the V-Control internal governor because the hobby wing is controlled by the governor. The governor uses the RPM cable for the RPM feedback. It doesn't look to the telemetry side for RPM feedback. It pulls it from the hobbying cable. So plugged in in your RPM port with the RPM cable, the control loop will work for governor. So this is purely... Without the telemetry cable, you will just use telemetry. All right, let's put that back on and undo something else. Okay, we are back. So let's see if we can figure out what's wrong with this picture. All right, we have our Neo. We have the telemetry cable, All right? Telemetry hooked up. We got the Hobbling 130 hooked up. So all the wiring's good, right? Got it plugged in, all right? But oh, we are missing the app. There's no Hobbywing app. So on our other example, we don't have the Hobbywing app when we don't have the telemetry cable plugged in, but we've got the telemetry cable plugged in here. So what could be our problem? Let's check. I suspect it might be a firmware issue. Let's check. Okay, we're back. Gonna do some quick troubleshooting. So I have plugged in the Hobbywing programming box. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and check our firmware here so we can get this where we can read the screen. Kind of hard. All right, so here we are. I'm going to scroll down to system setting. I'm going to go to device information, ESC information. It's going to connect, tell us what our firmware is. And sure enough, look at that. Firmware version PL-04-0.10. It is indeed not the VBAR firmware. All right. We're going to upload the firmware and get her back online. All right. So we've now hooked up the programming box. We've connected to the Hobbling V2 app. We are going through and looking at our firmware and picking the VBAR firmware. And here we go. It's analyzing and we're going to update the firmware. Now, this is the Hobbling V2 app available um, to download for your iPhone. Download it, and then you will have a wireless connection between that programming box and your iPhone. And you can do everything from your iPhone. All right. I ain't going to sit here and watch this thing slow roll, so I'm going to speed her up. See you in a few seconds. Okay. Firmware update complete. We are now on the V-Bar. Let's see what this does to our system. See if that'll pesky hobbing app shows back up in that v touch screen 
All right, we'll start her up. All right, she's booting up. Let's see. Well, we gotta tell it a battery. All right. <gasps> Look at there. All right. Touch your cable in. We saw the firmware was updated to the V-bar. And guess what? The Hogwing icon is back. So, firmware updated. Touch your cable installed. And plugged in the right way. You're good. Let's fly. Mm -hmm.